Hey everybody, welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. Last episode, we successfully dealt with the Lover's Shadow. And, put your hand, don't touch your face, Makoto. We spent some time with a certain character. And honestly, it's pretty miserable. Nozome, my god. I, ah, I'm not going to assume authorial intent, but I feel like the authors are kind of making fun of you. Okay, I just assumed authorial intent, but uh, we got exams coming up, and that pretty much means Nozome is the only character we can talk Good to. Day. You got some stuff for me. Woo. Let's hear it. Here are my requests. The creative persona of a torrent shot. Do I have good news for you, Elizabeth? Right. You've already fulfilled the requirement. <laughs> I'm just that good. Oh, wow. That is a nice reward. Thanks a bunch. But we have a new time-gated option. Bring me a Christmas star. If I may say so. This time, I'd like for you to bring me a certain plant. Huh? It is often referred to as the Christmas star. I do not have any more knowledge on this subject. Should you require help, I recommend asking someone well-versed in plants. By all means. Who do we know that's well-versed in plants? Oh, feed the kitties. I can, sense a I can do that. I don't know where to get uh, cat food. I sense a presence. There seems to be a hungry cat somewhere out there. It appears to have trouble finding food. As such, it has not yet been fed. Would you please find and feed the poor thing? I'm on the case. What else we got here? I wish to feel the ocean. I have longed to visit this place called the Ocean. Shame. Alas, as you know, I am unable to abandon my post here. So if you ever find the opportunity to visit the Ocean, would you look for something that feels like the Ocean for me? Someone tells me Lizzie won't be happy with just a postcard, but let's head to the station outskirts and try our best. Hi there. Also, yeah, get cat food at the pharmacy. In case you're playing home. This cat looks very weak. Seems like it might be hungry. Man, we should give it some super cat food. Well, I'm not gonna eat it. There you go. Mm-hmm. Meow, meow, meow. The cat is purring loudly. It seems happy. Maybe the cat will feel better if I come back and feed it tomorrow. Okay, so we got a pet now. All right, cool. I think uh, you guys are here before. You know, last time I was here, I got in some trouble, but looks like those weirdos have been snooping around here. Guess you're trying to hear the juicy stuff. Stuff you don't find out in normal life. Hmm. The whole reason I hang out here is to shoot the crap I buzz. Well, three weirdos are the only ones who come here to try and learn stuff. I need to get a life. And I need to get my life in. So I can dry. <laughs> kind of, it kind of goes without saying. Alright. So. I know he's not anyone's favorite, but Nozome, you're my only hope. Please. Where can I go? Gets a, st a star, like that, a Christmas star. What the? Perfect timing. Do you want to get something to eat? I can hear my poor stomach crying miserably. Uh huh. Yes. Wonderful. Our culinary adventure continues. Today we will be going to Wakatsu. There's something for everyone on that menu. So for lunch I had a melon pan, then a katsu sandwich. Oh, sounds so good. Oh. Then an agave pond, a kane pond, a yakisoba pond, a strudel, another agave pond. What? That's a lot of bread, my man. But I gotta have my rice, too. <laughs> I mean, you are a growing boy. Mm. Oh. I, I think that might have been too many carbs. Yeah, come on, man. Balanced diet. Try, try some bro broccoli. Oh, that's also carbs. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a dietitian. Today, a girl in my class asked me, Who's that cute guy you went to Umayushi with? She wanted me to introduce you two so you could eat lunch together. Without me. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Girls always go for guys like you. Or my little brother. I guess looks really are everything. But once we're dead, we'll all just be bones. Uh -uh. You can't tell a handsome skeleton from an ugly one. Oh. Uh, not again. Why do my memories make me so damn hungry? Hey, waiter, another tonkatsu special. Dude. This is... This is tearing me up inside. While we wait for the food, let me share a little Senryu poem I wrote. Uh, 
Okay. He who cut you is no friend, but he who cuts you, you <laughs> flavor until the end. <laughs> After he brightened my day with that pun. Whew. That was way too close. If that toilet was just a bit further away. Oh boy. I'm trying to eat here, homie. I I feel for you though. Are you feeling sick? Yeah, let's just say that. No, I'm fine. No worries. <sighs> I kinda have to worry though, man. Everything's good and normal over here. Except for my weight, that is. Oh god. Gourmet King shouldn't say things like that. I, I didn't mean to be so crass. I mean, who wants to talk about toilets while they're eating? Yeah, yeah. I keep saying toilets. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> He's a little rough around the edges, but I'm... I don't know. There's something about that. He's got a little bit of that charm. And he's... Clearly eating to get his minds off things he doesn't want to think about. Don't worry, man. I don't. I don't care about that senior girl, whoever the crud. Let's just keep hanging out, all right? Okay, enough of that. Let's shovel that food down. We have to eat every chance we get, because once we're dead, all we'll be eating is dust. That's morbid. You know, just like my little brother. Um. That's the most awkward. My God, that is real. That is real life. How he just overshares as a joke. Like, it, I'm reading between the lines here correctly, right? Oh, welcome back. I, oh, my God. Are you free tonight? With well, exams coming up, I thought maybe second year school to study session. Ah, some head in my room. But Junpei? Now, well, his loss. You, Emmy, and Fuka can still study together. God, I'm still just thinking about. Knows what, man. The dog. I don't know, they... Listen, sometimes reality is stranger than fiction. And the writers of this video game probably knew somebody in real life like Nozome who wears their insecurities, like, on their sleeve and just can't help but overshare on the most random of times. And maybe, I don't know, had five slices of bread a day. I'm just saying. You're really making a name for yourself as our leader. Especially the current operation. Excellent commanding there. Next time, the enemies will be getting stronger again. Keep up the effort. I know you'll be fine. Thanks, bro. Then again, we barely survived that last fight, so I yes, think I should... <laughs> yes, precisely. You're slacking. It's fine to reflect on your victory, but don't forget there are exams next week as well. Oh boy, exams. Well, let's hop to it, ladies. Game on. Let's, up, up, who do I have to talk to? Oh god, I'm terrible at this. Um... Talking to girls! <laughs> Do you need something? I, I thought I was invited. Oh, Fuka knows about plants. Right. A Christmas star? That's the ornament at the top of a tree. Why do you need one of those? I thought I was asking for a plant. What? If I'm right, it might not refer to an ornament at all. There's a type of plant that's sometimes called the Christmas star. Could you wait a moment? I'll go double check. Oh, sorry to take you away from your studies. A poinsettia. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> I just had one lying around. I think what you're looking for is a poinsettia. The flower is usually sold during Christmas time, so it's hard to find in stores now. <laughs> Fortunately, I had some in my room. Here you go. <sighs> Thanks. Well, it's time for exams. Have you been studying? A little. We were just about to start studying together. Do you want to join? Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's do it. Why not? Yeah. Let's get started. Buka, your notes look so trendy. I kind of wasn't expecting that. You mean her handwriting? Maybe she's drawing diagrams or something. Oh no, these are not Chan's notes. She let me borrow them since I was out trapped in Tartarus. <laughs> wow. It's kind of hard on the eyes. No, I, I like that. She's looking out for you. That's kind. <laughs> she sure is. There's actually quite a bit missing from these notes. Oh, bummer. Oh, you're right. This part just has the equation and no answer. 
And this page is full of doodles. Oh no, it is full of drawings. No, it's not. It's not a diagram, but. And this part, uh, is that a drool stain? Hey, it may not be the best study material, but it's the thought that counts, right? Yeah, her heart's in the right place. But seriously, drool? I, I'd be too embarrassed. Hand it over. Mm -hmm. We've been trying to think of a way to return the favor. Hmm. Fill in the blanks. Complete her notes. No offense to Natsuki. I don't think she's going to look at him. I mean, aren't these the same thing? How about just fill in the blanks? I don't know. Huh? Did I say something stupid? <sighs> when Fuka be giving you that, that stare, it's just... Uh... Oh, are you saying I should fill in any part she missed in her notes before giving them back? That sounds like a great idea. But it's going to be a lot of material. I wonder if I can finish it all. Yeah, probably a bad idea right before exams. But Fuka's got that self-discipline. I think she can get it done. I don't know. Then we'll help you out. It'll be a good review for us, too. Okay, teamwork. I didn't even think of that. Let's go. <sighs> Thanks, you two. Here, let me see those notes. Oh. Yeah. We began to fill in Natsuki's notes. Like it was some kind of... I don't know. Puzzle piece. <laughs> puzzle. <laughs> We nearly rewrote the entire thing. It really did really did good for a review. Okay, okay, it works out. Shout out to Natsuki getting showing up in the most unexpected place. Well, I guess her notes. Well done. It looks wonderful. <laughs> Natsuki-chan's in for a real surprise when she sees this. Hmm. A lot of work. Don't complain. Then again, that's what I'm best at. So. You two put in a lot of effort to match Natsuki-chan's colorful note-taking. Colorful? <laughs> there was only so much we could do to live up to her style, but it was pretty fun to try it out. I'll make sure to give Natsuki-chan the notes back tomorrow. Good night. Not a bad sash. Hopefully she can get... What's that sound? Oh my god, it's the cicadas. Whoa. Used to this part being so silent. Uh... Hi, Junpei. <laughs> so, uh... Exams are coming up pretty soon. Have you been studying? In universe. This is silly, but I like to imagine just because Junpei is so powerful, everyone's a little intimidated by him. Uh, 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 y yes, um... Uh, God Slayer Junpei, I've been studying. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Well, not that it's any of my business. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm still shaking. No, I'm just playing. He's a good kid, but... God dang, he's strong in this game. It don't even... Like, it... It... It almost doesn't match the character. I'm sorry. It just doesn't. Here we go! <laughs> Finally reached Tara. No, Masakado. He's the turning point of the era of the samurai. <laughs> it all began with the infighting among the Tyra clan. The conflict escalated until the Imperial Court had to intervene. Masakado has pursued by the Imperial Court, so had no choice but to openly oppose them. The result was known as the War of Masakado. So... Yuki, you may not look like a samurai, but let me see if you know this one anyway. Here's a theory that Tyra no Masakado thought of the prototype for an item essential to battle. That was definitely a new trivia question. Now, what do you think that item was? It's something every samurai needs. Um, can, can it be the katana? I mean, that sword's been around for ages. Masakado, I mean, can usually samurai use Bow and arrows, but armor is so vague. But I mean, when you think of a samurai, you don't think of a rifle. That's when the black ships came to Japan. You know, the Americans were saying, open up the borders, right? No, it was a little bit earlier with China. Pretty sure those were the first rifles. So I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna say katana. I don't, I don't know. I'm not thinking straight. Or am I? 
Knew that one already, huh? Yes, it's the katana. Think of a samurai, and the swords are the first thing to come to mind. Although it's not known whether Masakata really came up with them. Then what they used before? Maybe just spears and bow and arrows. They're going to be on the exam next week, so be prepared. When you think of Masakato, think of the katana. Let's skip forward a little to the Kamakura era. Ah, at last, I can feel them on their way. The samurai are almost here. In 1185, the Kamakura Shogunate was established. Yes, we're here. And of course, its founder was Minamoto no Yoimoto. I cannot believe we finally made it. Yes, we, we've arrived at your favorite part of the, the lecture, sir, but who are these people? We need more context. We just kind of glaze over Masakato. I can't believe that. Ah. Anyway, freaking didn't know that. I guess he, I mean, believed is a little bit, wait, what's this? I hope it's not urgent. It's from Sonata. Uh, Kutsuki son's coming tonight. Sounds like he has something to tell us. Meet on the fourth floor once we're all back. But I gotta feed the kitty. I'm busy, bro. Oh, oh thank God. Oh, thank God. Don't worry, champ. I'll be back tomorrow. Yeehaw. Wait, what is this? Okay, Sarah, Sarah. It's dark down there. What is this? I mean, it's... Wait, it's a bar. Why can't I even inspect it? That's... I mean, can we go in there? I don't know. Anyway, freaking... Our options are still basically Nozome, and that's it. Like we gotta keep talking to him. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, hey man, how you? How you? How's it hanging? Yes. Wonderful. It is hanging greatly. Mm, what are you in the mood for today? Rice, sandwiches, or perhaps noodles? I know just the place. Oh, my bad. Were you waiting on me? Well, look who it is. What the? I knew you sounded familiar. Uh, hi? I'd recognize that shrill grating voice anywhere. I mean, who wouldn't? I, I think he sounds cool. I don't have all the free time in the world like you high school kids, so let's try to keep this short. My son gave you money that was supposed to pay for his cram school. I'd appreciate it if you'd give it back. Wait, what? Nozome. Let's just be done with this. I won't bother you again if you return the money now. Are we good? Is he telling the truth? Um, look, sir. I don't think you have the full picture here. Wait, what's going on then? Your son said he hates cram school. That's why he was hiding in the park by himself. I was doing him a favor. If anything, you should be thanking me. Right? Dude. You didn't have to take the money, though. This guy's a dork. He, he get Ben, all right, my man. <laughs> See, you no. think so too. <laughs> There's no defending this. <laughs> well, what's this? Someone sure is bold today. You sure you're not gonna start screaming emergency and run away? Mmm, that is a good tactic, though. You gotta admit. My my, you really don't have a clue, do you? No wonder you don't understand how your son feels. Ooh, Nozome, hold up. Besides, haven't you heard? He's my bodyguard now. I... Oh. I was about to say I didn't sign up for this. No, we indirectly did. Sumitsu seems to trust me with all his heart. And is positioning himself as, you know, because if he starts swinging, you know, I'll get in the crossfire. I think we're being used... A, a little bit. Right? Like, uh, uh. Look, I should be the one forgiving you. And even if I did, there's no way you're getting into paradise. What? People like my dead brother, non-believers like you, you're not welcome there. What are you talking about? <sighs> talking to you gives me a headache. I mean, a little bit, yeah, but you know. You know my son, right? He's still in elementary school. Element? And yet he has a better head on his shoulders than you do. Oh my god. Your parents have my sympathy. I'd be ashamed if my son were as neck deep in this cult as you are. You've got to be kidding me, Nozome. Are you really? What? What did you just say to me? Yo, dude, he's an adult. Back down. So that's how it is, huh? You're just like the rest of them. You think I should have died instead, don't you? 
He hit a sour spot. Dang. You Whoa. don't think I'll ever hold a candle to my twin brother, do you? Knock it off. <laughs> Damn kid. This dude is never coming back. God, this has been such a waste of time. Fine. If that's how you want to play, then just you wait and see. Better watch yourself, kid. Hang around this guy for too long, and he'll scam you, too. I tell my son the same thing. Choose your friends carefully. Now excuse me. Come back when you've learned a little respect. Uh, actually, don't come back. Ever! Sickest burn in history. Um... So... We won! We fought that guy off! As long as you're here, I've got nothing to fear. I... I don't know what to make of this. I'm actually stunlocked. All right. I was dying of hunger, wasn't I? Come on. Uh, what would you do in this situation? Genuinely. I mean, it's a video game, so we're going to keep talking to him, but... Colts are scary, dude. Maybe we could just try and, like, figure out what this cult is and get him out of it. I don't know. And that's the summary of what happened on the night of the set. Oh, I can't even keep thinking about Nizome. I got enough crap going on. These shadows seem to be quite a bit more formidable than the ordinary ones. I see. So our enemies are growing stronger as well. Well, it's not all bad news. In fact, I called today's meeting because... Hold on. Before we go on, I'd like to ask Kirijo-senpai something. Oh? I know I'm not the only one thinking this. So much has been happening lately. I feel like I've just been getting dragged along without really understanding anything. But now, I want answers. So I'm gonna ask you straight out. You've been hiding something from us, haven't you, Senpai? You're always acting like you don't know anything about the Dark Hour or Tartarus. But they're connected to that accident 10 years ago, aren't they? What accident? Yukari-chan? There was an explosion near our school and a lot of people died. It must have been big news back then. You know about it, don't you? Yes. Luckily, no students were injured. But something is off here. At the time of the incident, there were several unexplained absences. Seems like more than just a coincidence to me. What do you mean? Well, I dug up some old school records and found something interesting. Those students weren't just absent. They all suddenly collapsed and had to be sent to the hospital. Sounds a lot like apathy syndrome. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Dude. Remember those girls who bullied Fuka? They had to be hospitalized too. <laughs> I want an explanation. What really happened on the day of that accident? The Kirijo group built our school, so you have to know something. Tell me the truth. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. It just never seemed relevant. But... It's okay. It's not your fault. All right. I'll tell you everything. Shadows have many mysterious abilities. Like controlling a train and controlling hormones. I'm sorry, I interrupted. Just can, can continue. Some research indicates they can even affect time and space. We think of them as our enemies, but what if we could somehow use them to our advantage? They could be a source of unimaginable power, couldn't they? What? Fourteen years ago, one man pursued that very line of thinking. He was the former leader of the Kirijo group, Koetsu Kirijo, my grandfather. My grandfather was obsessed with the shadows. He wanted to harness their power to create something extraordinary. Create something extraordinary? To that end, he assembled a research team and had them amass a number of shadows. He was collecting them? Damn, that's freaking crazy! But ten years ago, 
during the final stages of the project, there was an accident. And the experiment failed. We actually get to see this. They lost oh. control of the Shadow's power, altering the nature of the entire world. You can't mean... Yes. Tartarus and the Dark Hour. Dang, all right then. According to the records, the accumulated mass of shadows split into several large ones that later dispersed. These are the shadows we've been encountering on nights when the moon is full. Maybe that's why it's difficult to predict where they'll appear. Wait a minute. If what you said is true, then why did our school turn into Tartarus? Don't tell me. Is it because that's where they conducted the experiment? Yes. Then those students who were hospitalized... It's just as you fear. It was a highly populated area, and the Kirijo group had influence there. They could essentially do as they pleased. Fort Island must have been the perfect location for them. So, yes, as you guessed, the experiment ten years ago was conducted at Gekokan High School. Just what are you trying to say here? So that's the whole purpose behind Seas? We were dragged into all this just to clean up their mess? You lied to us? She didn't technically lie. Just obfusc obfuscated the truth, you know, it's different. And you knew too, didn't you, Sonata Senpai? You've both just been using us. Or do you not care, as long as you're the one who gets to do the fighting? <sighs> I never said anything like that. I... have my reasons. Think what you'd like, but it was my decision not to share the information. I'm sorry. It was never my intent to deceive you. Convincing you to join Seas was my highest priority. I know it may not be fair, but Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. We are the only ones who can fight. That's hardly the point! I never had a choice either. It didn't matter if I wanted this power or not. I... Mitsuru, that's enough. Takebaku, it's only those in the past who are to blame. And they lost their lives as a result of what they did. We're all in the same boat here. None of us deserve the burden that's been thrust upon us. But that's... <sighs> it's been ten years since the incident in question. No one knows why those shadows suddenly returned. But now that they're here, we have the chance to find and destroy them. Do you realize what that means? No. What if I told you that the Twelve Shadows are the cause of everything? You're saying if we defeat them all, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will disappear? Exactly! How do you know that? That's what I was going to tell you earlier. See? It's good news, isn't it? Uh, I guess the computer sold them. Alright, I'll take that explanation. Can that really be true? There's evidence to support it. And this is where our true battle begins. Only a handful more. Alright, we can do that. Our true battle. Regardless of what's happened in the past, we must fight to protect the people. The shadows are gaining strength. We can't afford to wait for them to strike first. Right. And there are still many mysteries surrounding Tartarus. For instance, why did such a gigantic structure appear in the first place? The answers must be out there somewhere. So the truth comes out. Persona 3 is actually a story about time travel. It's kind of weird, right? Yeah, really. You know, you look at all the clocks, and you're like, oh yeah, a calendar system makes sense. But no. The antagonist of our story literally just wanted to control time. Crazy. We must defeat the 12 shadows. That started all of this in order to eradicate both the Dark Hour 
and Tartarus. I must fight to protect everyone. Six of them remain. And boy, oh boy, it's gonna be a blast killing them. Woohoo! Genuinely, though, what does Mitsuru do? Just tell us, like, hey, this is what's happening. Blah, blah, blah. She could have. Would it have changed anything? No. We have enough to worry about. So she took on that burden. I don't think she necessarily lied. And I'm not sucking up. It's just the truth. Additionally, Yukari does all this, you know, kind of espionage. It's not really espionage. She went on Wikipedia, bro. Okay. Or had Fuka go on Wikipedia. <laughs> Whichever the order operations is there. Was she going to say, like, oh, I don't know. Like, she already, she already basically knew the truth. Yukari is the only healer. She leaves, we're screwed. Meets her. And no, Akihiko does not count as a healer. Freaking. I'm not even going to entertain that idea. I'm so sorry about everything. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Uh, whoa, whoa, what is all this? These options weren't here before. How'd the public take it? What do you mean? In the end, over 50 people were injured in that accident. The media placed full blame on the Karija group for the tragedy. They singled out one researcher in particular, declaring him the main culprit behind it all. Whether it was actually all his fault or not was not the issue. The public was looking for someone to vent their pain and anger that chose him, though he was a victim himself. Their wrath was unparalleled. It's almost more frightening than seeing a horde of shadows. Yeah, says you. You don't have to fight him. Anyway, tell me more. This I, I don't recall this was in the game before. What happened with Mitsuru? Under the pretense of assisting for the benefit of the group, she was subjugated to experiments on her persona for many years, solving the mystery behind this unknown ability of persona. The development of various equipment, beginning with the Evoker. None of this would have been possible without her cooperation. There must have been some dangerous experiments at times, too. And yet she kept agreeing to it all, I'm told. Wow. So yeah, she suffered a lot, too. And also inherited this familial, just, burden of... Yeah, so my great-grandpa was an evil, like, time-travel scientist, you know, douchebag, had to, like, you know... What was I supposed to do? Say no? Anyway, tell him about Akihiko. He and Karijo kun have known each other for a very long time. Sonata kun joined us when he was only in middle school. At the time, he had a third member as well. But I digress. Okay, last one. This is actually very interesting. What about the 12 shadows? Special shadows that appear in full moons. They're products of a research accident from 10 years ago. In the incident, an experimental entity comprised of numerous shadows was split once more into twelve large pieces. As such, the power far exceeds those in Tartarus. Tread with appropriate caution. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Some of them table and bird shadows, I don't know. Definitely tougher than the, the, the Emperor, I'll give you that. Well, aren't you calm? Must because you're a fantastic leader who can do anything, huh? No matter what happens, you can handle it all by yourself. Isn't that right? No, you are my friend. You, we are, we are brothers in arms, blood brothers. I need you. Why are you like this? We need it. Can we just talk it out, man? You're killing me here. Wish uh, nobody like me could do that. Junpei, are you? He really, he really appreciates you. La la la, can't hear you. The only thing anyone knows about Tartarus is that it creates shadows. Other than that, we're all in the dark. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep pretend I didn't hear that. You know what? Fuka has that way of just, you know, she just worms her way in. Some th some things she says, I'll be thinking about for hours. So I'm trying to go to sleep, and I'm like, Ugh. fried tofu. Ugh. Maybe we shouldn't go to the tower today. <laughs> Jupe asked me to go over what we talked about in the meeting. If we defeat all 12 shadows, I won't be able to use my persona anymore. Man, it's such an amazing power. Can't just let it go to waste. Uh, the vibe in the dorms kind of... I don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna hang out somewhere else tonight. Uh, didn't I give you a large sum of money? Yeah, I definitely gave you a large sum of money. What's going on with that? I need to pick me up. Today's been a bummer. Oh, there you are. We ran into a bit of a snag. Again. 
some of the other investors decided to drop out. Since there are a few investors, everyone will make even more of a profit. So would you mind investing some more? Just 10,000 yen. That should be plenty. Are you in? Let me think about it. I'm all in. There you go. Make me rich! What's that look? I like you just smelled like a fart. What? My foolish little apprentice. Have you yet to realize you're being deceived? Everything I've said has clearly been suspicious. Ugh. Ignorance should be a crime. No, you stealing from me should be the crime. Sure, you have some redeeming qualities. If you remain this naive, everyone will take advantage of you. Stick with me and I'll show you how to be a winner. This seems to be serious. Should I spend some time hearing him out? Well, he's a shady fellow, but you know what they say, keep your enemies close, right? If you insist, I'll give you my autograph. It's always a pleasure, Peter Fan. Not why I'm here, but okay. <laughs> Wait a minute, you look familiar. You sound familiar. Who the dump are you? Don't you have a television? Are you living in the Stone Age? A barbaric. I saved all my money to give to you, douchebag. Now just tell me who you are. I'm sure you've seen the home shopping program, Tanaka's Amazing Commodity. Yes? No, because I don't have a TV anymore. I sold it, pawned it, to pay for this. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, okay. The man handed me a business card. Tanaka, president and CEO. That's right. I'm Tanaka himself. Surely you've heard the name. Mm, not ringing any bells. I'm afraid I can't offer any returns on your 40,000 yen, but I've autographed my business card for you. Oh, wow, what a gift. Hold on to that. It'll be worth a pretty penny in a year or so. Uh, and with that, <laughs> I must be going. Because you're just so busy before, just clasping your hands here in Polonia Mall. Loitering is what you're doing, by the way. You weren't shopping. You, you're just sitting here. Expression change. What? That little brat. Doesn't he realize he's in the presence of a star? I can still hear you. Like the. You're not that far away. Time is money, especially mine. Should have squeezed a few more payments out of him. It sounds like he's talking about me. <laughs> Come on, Makoto. Wait a minute. Is he referring to myself? No. Talk to him. Be like, hey, punk. I can hear you. Oh, well, ah. Uh. Uh, what do you want? Uh, quit disturbing me. Get out of here. Shoo. You. You overheard me talking to myself just now, didn't you? Tja. You'll forget it ever happened if you know what's good for you. I belong to a powerful talent agency. Oh, no. I'm so scared. I'm practically a celebrity. I have an image to maintain. Then you should stop talking to yourself in the middle of a mall like a crazy person. Don't even think about telling someone that I took your money or called you a little brat, capiche? I don't... I don't speak Canadian. I don't know. What is that? What is that? Whatever you say, dude. Don't get cute with me. <laughs> you think you can get away with anything with that pretty face of yours? Hey, yo, what? I mean, oh. yeah, but... <laughs> Silly me. I've let you in on my little secret, haven't I? <laughs> uh. I'm scared for my life. What is happening? Uh, don't tell anyone, okay? Please, I'll lick your shoes it. clean if you want me to. What the... No, no. Don't care. Shoes don't need to be that clean. Just leave me alone. So, you won't tell anyone, right? You better be ready to cross your heart and hope to die if you're lying to me. A verbal agreement is a form of contract, and if you breach it, I'll sue your pants off. Mm, sadly, he is telling the truth for once. 
I've got your adorable little face etched into my memory. Homie, you got it. You can't be talking. You, what is wrong with you? He seems to have taken an interest in me. That's putting it lightly. I'm now acquainted with Tanaka, the producer of a home shopping TV show. Cool. Wait, not cool. He's a horrible person. Dare I say, a devil. <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the devil archive. Unyielding power is something the Devil Arcana is not about. It's usually just about, you know, killing stuff and afflicting status effects. I mean, that can be good, but maybe got better in this game. I don't know. I'm excited to find out, Mr. Businessman. You're a diamond in the rough, my boy. All you need is a little polishing, and you'll sparkle. I often take my breaks here. I'd be happy to mold your young mind whenever you wish. You gotta work on your phrasing. Don't you have media training, buddy? I'm not your buddy. If you... Listen, I obviously know the character. I know his arc. But if you... This is your only first experience with Tanaka. Would you ever talk to him again? No, because he... I'll lick your shoes. Don't have exams coming up. I should focus on that instead. What? I don't know. I got... I got... Sunday off. Okay. Oh. Oh, hey. Him. Lounging about as usual, huh? Hmm? It's a Sunday, you know. You. What do you want? If you're gonna ask me to go back, the answer's still no. That's not why I'm here. I was just making sure you were still around. That's so. We've known each other a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other pals. Dang, shot down. Guess he's not in the mood. What was that? <sighs> I'll make you reminisce about our childhood days, god dang it! It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge ahead like a damn fool. You've never been good at hiding shit. Everyone thinks about the past. Even me. Anyway. We finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the dark hour. No shit? Yeah. The thing is, all I've cared about until now is getting stronger. Everything else came second. But yesterday, someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting? Huh. It's different for everyone. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. That's what I did. I'm not like you. <laughs> Man. I can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. <laughs> this is not what he signed up for at all. Well, see you around. Hmm. You really haven't changed at all. Oh? Yes? What's going on here? Can I talk to you for a moment? Oh. Senpai, this is unusual. Hold on, let me close some tabs. Please, come in. She was on my YouTube channel. She wanted to be bears, you know? So not only do you excel at providing support during battle, you are also quite skilled at gathering information. Oh, she's in trouble. Oh, I I'm sorry for doing that without permission. It was a public access wiki. I, th I thought it was fine. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. But I do have an important favor to ask of you. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident 10 years ago. Oh, okay. Oh, well, very little of that was made public. I know. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. 
She's she's like 16, Mitsuru. <laughs> Come on. You mean hack into their system? Is that allowed? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not. I'll give you my ID and password. Then you won't be held accountable. Ote! But I need to know the truth in detail. Senpai. Of course, I'll understand if you refuse. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Wait, sir, she was never going to refuse. Oh, I don't like that at all. Are you sure? Under a different lens. Mitsuru. I appreciate it. Thanks for the favor. Also, my computer has an issue. What are these cookies I've been hearing about? Yamagishi, aren't you resentful? Regardless of my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. I'm sure you must have at least a few complaints. Not really. <laughs> I kind of just go with the flow. Look how big are my room is. In Japan, no less. This is crazy. <laughs> Did you know my entire family is made up of doctors? My parents are the one exception. It gives them a bit of an inferiority complex. That's why they're so hard on me. I don't like being at home. But here, I'm able to do something no one else can. I have a purpose. So no, I don't have any complaints. You're right. We can't do this without you. No one could take your place. Uh, oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so flattery. Thank you. I'll see you later. Later. So, Tartarus and the Dark Hour are on the way out, huh? <laughs> no, that's a good thing. That's what we've been fighting for. So then, why? Damn it! Why am I so pissed? And why are those people wearing their uniforms on Sunday? What the hell? Gosh, it's hot. Even for July. Wow. Can't believe we're already third years. Guess this will be the last time we'll wear these uniforms and hang out after school. <sighs> Who cares? I just want to get into college and start having fun already. I get it. My problem is me. I'm going on like fighting was my duty and all. Actually, it's just all I'm good at. Because without that, without that, I'm nothing. <laughs> so much for being a hero. I can't fight worth the shit anyway. Not compared to him, at least. No, it's, it's debatable. I, like, we, we all have our ups and downs. Whoa! Uh. Damn it! Nothing I do is good enough. Junpei, you're killing me here. <sighs> Why am I only ever right about the worst things? Am I stupid for trusting in something so blindly? Dad, I got this letter from you last spring. I must have read it a thousand times since then. To my family, ten years into the future. Tomorrow? I'll bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It will be stored in a time capsule and sent to you in ten years' time, Yukari. You may be small now, but in ten years, you'll be sixteen. You'll be in high school. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you always manage to greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Kirijo-san appointed me head researcher. I'll be starting on a big project soon. It feels good to receive so much recognition for my work. But I swear to you, nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Oh, Dad. Yukari, I wonder, are you enjoying life? Do you have high hopes for the future? Do you still look towards tomorrow with excitement and wonder like you do now? No matter what happens in the next 10 years, I hope you're happy. And I hope this letter brings a smile to both you and your mother's faces. Eiichiro Takeba, March 6th, 2000. No matter what happens, huh? All I can do is believe. I won't turn my back. 
I won't be like mom. Not ever. God dang, that was effing heavy. <sighs> what do I say after that? <sighs> anyway, let's watch some TV, get our minds off things. God dang. Oh wait, him again. No! Hello, everyone! I'm here to sell you some garbage! <laughs> uh, I mean, quality products. Today we're introducing the Outdoor Activity Set, Summer Vacations Upon Us! We have just the thing for you this hot summer. These Max Safety Shoes stay stable on any terrain. <laughs> My goodness, it's wonderful! But wait, there's more. Oh, instant curry. <sighs> that sounds terrible for my gut health. Gimme. Give Gimme give two of them. Please. Genuinely, like, SP recovery is pretty rare. Even if they only recover... F How did you know I was a kid? Oh, God. Is he stalking me? Next time, we'll be introducing a seasonal corn set. Don't miss it. He really is just peddling garbage, huh? Corn set. What the frick does that mean? Seasonal? Anyway, what do we do this episode? I guess discover, like, yeah, time travel is a part of the plot. Even if it's, like, you know, in the past, and... I don't know, Nozome's in a cult. What kind of cult? Uh, oh, yeah, this guy. Ew! All around, a bit of a bummer. Maybe next episode will be a little more cheerful. After all, it's the middle of summer. Just kidding, we have exams coming up. God effing dang it. Why do we play video games again? You get stressed out because of time limits? Maybe. That's why I play. Anyway, see you next time, right? Bye bye.